as many of you know and we heard earlier, the prevalence rate for children with autism is at all time high. And with this increase in prevalence, public concern for autism is at all time high, and the need for effective treatment for children with, all, with autism is also at all time high. Currently, one of the leading treatments for children with autism is applied behavior analysis. And the reason that behavior analysis has been so effective in treating children with autism is that it uses data to make treatment decisions. In using data for treatment decisions, it's important that those data are accurate. And as we've heard from Marlise, sometimes data is not accurate. If you went to a medical doctor and you were asking for treatment for a physiological issue that you're having, you would certainly want them using accurate data and uh, up-to-date information. The issue in behavior analysis is that the behavior analysts who create the treatment for the children with autism are not the ones who are actually implementing that treatment because there are so many children with autism, behavior analysts don't have the time to work with the children one-on-one, -on -one, so they'll create treatment teams who will work with the children with autism and collect that data. In that data, if it's not accurate, that children is not going to get the type of treatment that they need. This is a major concern. So while this, while this issue has been well documented, there hasn't been much done to address this issue. A few people say that technology could be an answer to the issue, and but there are cur currently there are apps out that aren't really data driven or aren't really researched. They are typically very expensive. They typically aren't very user friendly, and they are hard to create to be individualized, so they can't really change depending on what the client needs are. My study addresses this by creating an electronic data collection system using a Microsoft Excel app that anybody can use on a computer tablet for free that can be completely individualized per client need. We're gonna use this in an autism treatment facility where individuals who work with children with autism will have the opportunity to try it out and see if it's effective. This technology is going to include feedback and prompts. Anybody who's wearing a Fitbit today knows the importance of feedback to see your progress, to track your progress, and prompts are used similar to your alarm clock or your calendar to remind you to do things ahead of time. Ultimately, the purpose of this study is to provide individuals who work with children with autism the tools to do their job effectively so we can have a major impact on the treatment and the lives of these children with autism. Thank you.